hello my dear students hope you're fine and safe at home i hope you have watched the previous video about the industrial revolution so we'll discuss the remaining topics from the same chapter capitalism socialism and mixed economy okay so the three to topics also are from the same topic the industrial revolution economic system economic system means some total of the arrangements of the production distribution of goods and services in the society the economic system can be classified into three capitalist socialist and mixed economies okay so first we can discuss about the capitalist economy the capitalist economy means the economy all means of production are owned and controlled by private individuals so after the coming of the industrial revolution all the means of uh, industries are held by the people of private people okay so its features no government interference so there will not be control for the government so and the profit motive the main motto of the coming of the capitalism will be profit motive everything will be upon the profit and right of private property right of private property so the complete uh, will be owned by the private and freedom of enterprise so whoever want to come forward to bring up the entrepreneur or enterprise they, they can start up and the consumer sovereignty the consumer also have the right to buy buy the product whatever he want and the people also start up any business or just like uh, anything he just wanted also provide okay and increase in population legal requirement is also necessary growth of towns mass production okay and inequalities of income okay so there will be uh, those are working more those are not working more there will be comparison will be there those are getting more salary those are getting less salaries the comparison will be more and a price determination through demand and supply so which all the products having the high demand those products will be having more uh, value or more demand okay and supply also okay demand and supply products will be more demand uh, more price determination okay price will be high or less according to the demand of uh, demand and supply example developed economies like usa britain uk germany are the example for the capitalist economy we can check what are the merits or demerits of capitalist economy first we will discuss what are the merits its major merit is that innovation there we can bought up what all the requirements just like uh, what all the important or what all the new techniques or uh, if it is small scale or large scale or good industries or large scale industries we can bought up according to our wish and high standard of living the whoever controlling the property of uh, industries who will be living in high standard and growth and development there will be high if the people are earning more, earning more money so definitely they will be having the growth and development and in the field of demerits wealth is centralized in few hands negligence of social welfare and the wealth or the total profit will be controlled by a single or the few hands or the few people or the negligence of social welfare and economic instability and there will not get the poor will be poor and rich will be richer okay and the formation of monopoly single owners will be more the okay in the field of uh, capitalist economy okay single owners will be more and misuse of resources misuse okay resource can be misused okay whatever the res uh, resources they can take or the capitalist economy can they take they will be misuse that in the case of socialist economy the meaning of the socialist economy is that socialist economy is run by government with motive of social welfare okay 
it run the socialist economy run by the government with the motive of social welfare what all the requirements given to the what all the needful things given to the or to give to the people for that purpose only the socialist economy bought by the government okay its features are it is also known as the command economy or centrally planned economy or controlled economy and social welfare is core objective and the collective ownership and equal distribution of income okay so who who are the people are working under the socialist economy industries who will be getting the equal salaries not like the capitalist capitalist country or the capitalist industries will be getting according to the people but here everyone will getting the equal salary equal people okay no freedom of income will be there okay and what are the merits and demerits the equal distribution of income more employment more unemployment and opportunities and social justice and better utilization of resources minimize business fluctuations and prevention of con- consumer or labor exploitation so there will be equal distribution of income to the people more employment opportunity will be there better utilization of resources will be there okay and moving to the demo- uh, demerits bureaucracy restriction on freedom no incentive for a efficient work in form of profit it restricts consumer sovereignty state monopolies are created okay so there will be create the bureaucracy it restrict the consumer sovereignty state monopolies also created in at the case of demerits of the so, uh, socialistic economy okay so those are the merits and demerits of the uh, socialist economic case okay so uh, we have taught about the merits and demerits of the socialist economy uh, also it restricts the consumer sovereignty and no income for efficient and work in the form of profit okay those who are working more those who are working less will get the fixed the same salary okay and moving to the mixed economy what's the comparative difference from the capitalist and socialist Uh, for the mixed economy its meaning is that it's a system which includes the future the features of both capitalist and socialist economy so the main meaning is that it took the features main features of the capitalism and the main features of the socialism to the mixed economy its main features we can discuss coexistence of private and public sector existence of economic planning positive role of government okay so and ad- administrated price okay so in the mixed economy we have already discussed it took the features of both capitalist and socialist economy and also uh, example for the mixed economy is the india india has mixed economy okay india took the features of both capitalism and socialism we can check what all the merits or demerits of mixed economy moving to the merits it includes or the mixed economy includes the merits of capitalistic and socialistic economy rapid and balanced economy development reducing inequalities of wealth avoid economic fluctuations okay so it include uh, what the socialist economy and a rapid and ma- balanced economy okay and moving to the demerits difficult to operate bureaucracy is likely to found discourage production in private sector excessive control and heavy taxes are likely to prevail there will be more taxes for all the products okay and it discourages production in private sector though so there will be uh, more discourages production in the private sector private sector there will be getting more discourages okay for the production and uh, difficult to operate difficult to operate what the private sector and uh, public sector it will be difficult to operate both at the same time okay so uh, we have discussed the topics we have covered in this top uh, in this video economic system we have discussed what all economic system and the three kinds the capitalism socialism and uh, mixed economy this three we have discussed with example okay and also capitalist economy we have discussed what are the coming in the capitalist economy okay so we have discussed the loss of traditional job exploitation growth of towns 
okay legal requirements those are coming in the capitalist and in the case of socialist also we have discussed okay as the reaction of the evils of capitalism trade union movement okay and in the mixed economy uh, it took the both features of the capitalism and uh, socialism okay i hope you have understood the video those are the major important points of the capitalism socialism and uh, mixed economy these three topics also are coming from uh, from the chapter same chapter the industrial revolution okay the video of industrial revolution we have already took uh before i hope you have watched that after that only you need to watch this okay if you have any doubt you can discuss in the group or you can comment below i will give replay for that so thanks for today we can watch or we can see in upcoming videos thank you bye bye